Brant and Ray, we have some interesting topics today. We yes, first start we with All-Star Games. Do you think that All-Star Games are still relevant, Tucker? Absolutely not. The only All-Star Game that is relevant is NASCAR, and they shouldn't even have an All-Star Game because they race because they race each other every week. That's stupid. But in NASCAR, you're at least racing for the win. Yeah. In other sports, it's all about look at me, look what I can do. But I guess in a sense, that's what All-Star Games are supposed to be about, but who really cares about watching a game where no one really tries to play defense? Can you do that one more time, that look at me, look at what I do thing again? Nah. Okay. We'll keep it at one. All right. Um, did you watch the NBA All-Star Game? Other I did not because yeah. I don't care. Who cares? Who cares? That's, that's the problem. That's the exact problem. When I was a kid back in the day when we watched black and white TVs, uh, no, not, I'm not that old. They were relevant, but not now, and it's a shame. It really is. I mean, 192 to 187 or whatever that score was, give me a break. And in football, the Super Bowl players don't even play, no. so why have why? the game? No, no, it's stupid. What a shame. All right, issue two. Will Georgia Tech make the NCAA tournament? They had a rough loss on Tuesday yeah. with NC State, and that was a shame. They should have won that game. NC State was not very good. I still think they've got a great chance, and again, I, of course, root for the other team yeah. in the state, but I, I still think that this is one of the best stories in the state of Georgia we've had in several years with what Josh Pastner has done with Georgia Tech basketball. I think they have a great chance of making the tournament uh, because their resume is still pretty good, Tucker. It is a great story, and what they've done is impressive, especially considering it's Pastner's first year, and they weren't supposed to win but two ACC games, maybe, but we're talking tournament. We're not talking good stories. Are True. they good enough to get in the tournament? They have beaten some good teams, but they lost to some bad teams. Yeah. If we had done this before the NC State loss, might I might have said, yeah, they're in, but I think that hurts them. We'll yeah. see. they it, got a few games left. It might hurt them, no doubt about that. All right, finally, can the Atlanta United soccer team survive? Now, they haven't even started yet, I guess, so I'm already asking you if they'll survive. First of all, the name of the team is dumb. Yes. That was really dumb. What does Atlanta United mean? I don't even know if... Fulton County is united, much less Atlanta. And at soccer, I mean, I'm I'm leaning towards saying yes on that because mm -hmm. I, I have some friends who are really big soccer fans or even wanting to take me and pay their pay my way, which would have to happen for me to go to a game. Um, and it's supposedly going to be a big deal, but long term, is this like a, a never-ending thing? I don't know about that, but short term, I think it could survive. Long term, not sure. Well, Atlanta is a city of transplants, and it's not just southern folks who hate their soccer. So we'll see. Hey. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'm throwing another NASCAR reference. NASCAR can't fill the stands in Atlanta with all these southern people. Yeah. Soccer, uh, we'll see. It's going to take a few years, but I don't like the chances. I just want to know if Atlanta United, the other football team in Atlanta, gets a big league, will they blow it like the other team? Just asking. <laughs> there you go. Same owner. Same owner. I know. Same owner. Mm. There's Rant and Rave.